and today quick and easy to are done this I got from eBay uh, very cheap it was uh, 10 euros and it was in a nice condition so it is mostly why I purchased it uh, Marconi so British made military aircraft uh, communications frequency control box so we have uh, frequency indicator here obviously from 30 to, to, to 75 probably megahertz with decimals adjustment here we have norm on emergency power selector homing and off test main function switch here in a nice uh, weird grey plastic not usual color and uh, several indicators here with uh, dimming features to have a dim light in a night flight condition so two indicators here and also this thing here and if you unscrew this hopefully it should eventually unscrew and you should have a bulb inside but it will not come off early enough you can see they did put little lines here indicating the uh, secured position of uh, the fasteners uh, I will demonstrate them for you maybe I did already do it in an other older video but it is always good here is a sample of a matching piece that will be attached to the uh, cockpit uh, co panel or overhead panel I adjust two little bits like this not a lot of it sadly and I guess they will become like that and when you secure, you will turn this piece, it will uh, catch in the steel needle in the middle here, which is uh, press uh, fit and uh, seal in here. So it will come like such, you have to push and turn and it makes a very solid construction does not move at all quite an amazing uh, system really very very secure and to of course now the slots are the, in the direction of the indicators here and if I want to undo it Sadly, I never had the opportunity of undoing myself thus fasteners in a real aircraft cockpit in a scrap, scrapping an aircraft. I would love to do it someday. So to undo them, you have to... They are uh, stuck in place. They will not turn by themselves. You have to press a little bit and then it will unlock quite easily in fact and just come off like this a really a nice system so uh, the back here we just have a regular metal cover and here is the information for you cap plugs cover on the, over the connector uh, in a sense serial number on the broad arrow so it is uh, for military use modification record is not uh, fit not uh, filled at least and here is information made by Jack Sensors Limited in Baldison, England control communication system compass safe distance 10 cm must be because of the uh, steel in it because you have no magnet this is uh, thing for the screw frills I believe 
We have the weight and we have your serial number and of course made in England. So it is quite well because we have Jack Sensors Limited here and we have Marconi at the front. Interesting. Okay, let's uh, undo just the two screws and have a look inside. It should be pretty easy and fast. I do not expect a lot of electronics in it. So what do we have? Okay, uh, not much actually. Big all here and mostly wires. So first uh, here the uh, rotary contacts for the frequency selectors, double sided gold track PCBs that uh, with uh, yes, wipers that will turn. So it is a coaxial uh, thing here and uh, these two ones are for this and these two ones are for the main frequency. Part here. Uh, here probably a uh, ball on the spring to do the uh, nice uh, feeding when you turn. Here is the side of it. Uh, here the matching piece of uh, this indicator, whatever it is, with it seems three little uh, lights or maybe even uh, LEDs maybe I can try to undo the screw A and find out what we have I am not sure if it will come or not mm. No, it will no, no, there is a, a nut here at the back actually. So it will not uh, be possible to remove it, but we must have uh, three lights and you can dim them by this uh, thing. So other stuff from the back panel from the well the back of the front panel more exactly. Uh, back light contacts here, I believe. Just the switch, wafer switch here, nice uh, wire loom, more switches, the, oops, the uh, lights here and here, and that really it is all we have here, a big uh, aluminium, a machine aluminium piece to secure this uh, part, this side, the back plane here to the front very rigid. It is fun they did not put one at the other side. It is just secured here by a few screws going to this stack of uh, parts. Maybe they were, uh, well, yes, probably they were a little short for the available space and were not able to do this. But uh, actually there is a pro space here. They could have done something here. I guess quite interesting. So we have uh, contacts here, so and reach also to the bulb. So contact. So I will try to power it for you. And we will try to see what happens. Just to check the backlight. Uh, let me. volts as a start should be good. I will start with this light. So the ground must be the case so I can take my ground here and so do we have anything? I am not sure. Let me cut the light 
on the increase of voltage. Uh, no luck here, I see nothing. Ah, yes, I see a very, very dim blue dot. I guess it will not uh, show up in... Yes, maybe you can see it. So, I am totally under uh, voltage here for the lamp. But I will try the backlight here. So let's say the blue is the ground. I will oops, reduce the voltage. My power supply is more or less protected against short circuits. So will it do anything? Uh, seems not. I need to make contact without shorting and it is not easy believe me because the two contacts are very near one of the other so do we have anything uh, seems that no must be at least uh, 20 volts power supply but it was it was worth trying maybe I can try with the little bulbs here as I did already fail at the two first tries, why not failing another time? Uh, this seems to be a common wire. So do we have anything? Ah, yes, at least a little A here is lighting up. So I do not get exactly the point of uh, being able to turn this uh, filter in front. Yes, really dim, but you have a little A. If I power another one, this one. Oops. A little C. So I guess we must have a little B here. No idea what it is for. Okay, so uh, now I have white balance problems, of course, but you get the idea of this thing. Very nice construction. Morphenol brand connector here, of course. Nice uh, EV. Gold plating on the circuit board for the contacts and very nice uh, wire loom work. You can see it is secure. Oh, this is actually loose. It is a little bit of a fail. This thing here and here also could be better actually, but this side at least is uh, is good. And uh, I am a little bit surprised we have not another light just for the indicators, but it must be uh, powered by the, la the light in here. I cannot undo easily the front arm, oh, maybe. Excuse me. Yes, let's try it. Let's try to undo the buttons. And uh, no, no, I can't because of this thing. I will be stuck there and there is a super tiny nut here that it seems to be impossible to reach. And anyways there is not much to see behind the front plate. Okay, so one more in the hoarding of uh, aircraft control panels. At least this one is not too big and not too heavy. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.